What's up everyone? In today's video, we're gonna jump inside Photoshop so I can show you the selective color tool. This is gonna allow you to change your full color photos into bootleg style graphics with the click of a button. Let's go. What's up everyone? So first and foremost, I just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers that are here. Um, at the time of this video, I'm at almost 200 subscribers, so that's super dope to me. I just started this channel like less than two months ago, so um, to have it already be at almost 200 is super amazing to me. So thank you to you guys. Thank you to everyone who's been here um, kind of since the beginning. It means so much, so just want to say that first. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys this selective color tool in Photoshop. Um, basically, it will take um, any full color photos that you find, you know, on Google or, you know, personal photos that you want to use. And it basically will, you know, desaturate them, blow them out, um, uh, colorize them, like tint them a little bit and make them look more like authentic bootleg graphics. Um, it's something that you can definitely mess around with a bunch, but what I did is similar to that bootleg styles pack, I created a selected color pack. So you can basically just go down, there's 10 different unique um, presets, so you guys can just go through them, see whatever looks best. I'm going to show you guys how to use it, I'm going to show you a few other tips and tricks that um, go along with um, sort of like creating the best layouts for your bootleg uh, graphics. And uh, yeah, there's gonna be a bunch of little things sprinkled in, in this video, but the main thing is gonna be the selective color process. So let's jump right into it. So if you choose to use, um, you know, the selective color pack that I put together, um, the zip file is gonna look like this. I'm just gonna unzip it. And there's going to be 10 ASD files in here, right? So. In order to install these files, um, you have to search on your computer for selective color. Um, alternatively, you know, if you just want to go to your Adobe folder and then go to whatever version of Adobe Photoshop you're using, presets, and then go down to selective color. I installed these already just so I don't have to um, load each one individually inside Photoshop. Um, but basically, yeah, you just grab these and um, literally just drag them over into this selected color uh, folder. So that's how you install them, super easy. And uh, yeah, let's just jump inside Photoshop here. So basically what I did here is just set up um, my own kind of bootleg style t-shirt. Uh, we're going with Tupac for this tutorial. Um, I also have a Master P one here that I'll show you guys in a bit. Um, so you've got your selected color, um, presets installed. And what I recommend is just getting to a place where, um, you know, you haven't applied any effects to your photos. You're basically just worried about the collaging and like getting the layout how you want it. Right. So you're just using the standard like full color photos or black and white in this case uh, and color so in order to apply these effects um, you just go to the layer that you want to apply the effect to so we got Tupac, Tupac front here that's this image and then go up here to image at the top adjustments selective color so I've already got these installed so they should pop right up right here so let's just go through this list and I'll kind of show you guys uh, what each one does. And basically I just went online, I found real bootleg t-shirt examples and I just, um, you know, created different presets using the selective color tool to make them mimic um, that authentic style. So um, hopefully you guys will dig these. So let's start off with bootleg wrap number one. That's basically gonna give you this real like yellow faded, um, kind of like medium saturated um, colorized image here, right? So you can see 
how much that affects it like quite a bit right it really like kind of washes it out so that's what that one does and then if you want to apply these are for the most part these are meant for full color images but I found in doing this that even if you apply them to black and white photos for them this doesn't apply to all of them but it applies for most of them it still gives you a bootleg style and it um, complements what you know that the preset for the for the full color image right so like even though this was black and white it, there's still some compliment um, happening so I thought that was kind of cool um, you know if you wanted to just leave this black and white obviously that's an option you could just um, you know throw a, you know I don't know you could throw a multiply on it or something if you wanted to do that and just grab a color from here or grab a color from the text you know there's there's that looks kind of dope there's still um, you know plenty of, of room to mess around so let's um, undo our selective color there so I can keep um, showing you guys these other ones so bootleg wrap number two this is basically like a more like blown out desatura uh, desaturated version of a full color photo um, I believe when you apply it to the um, black and white photo, it sort of does the same thing. Yeah, it doesn't change it a whole lot because it already was black and white, so you can't really desaturate it. So what it did was just sort of blow out the whites and make it look a little bit like flat, like flattened, sort of like screen printed. So that works well for um, full color photos for sure. Let's keep cruising here. Number three, this is sort of like a purple, um, red sort of tint um, that is sort of in the same vein as that first one where if you, I believe if you apply it to, yeah, if you apply it to a black and white image, it, it adds a little blue tint to it. Um, but yeah, definitely, you know, creates a whole different vibe than just having um, a full color image. My opinion. Let's keep moving. Um, the other thing I want to address here, might as well just get it out of the way now, um, is you'll notice that I'm doing, I'm designing this differently than I have in previous videos. Um, and the reason for that is um, you guys are DMing me on Instagram and it's super awesome. Like I've gotten so many different people who are sending me the t-shirts the that they've made themselves, um, you know, either on their own or using my presets or just using some method they got from my videos. And um, the two biggest things I'm seeing, like a lot of it is super awesome, like genuinely. But one thing or two things that I'm seeing are sometimes the layout of the designs isn't necessarily, um, good for a t-shirt um you know that's just something that comes with practice you know once you've mocked a million t-shirts you know you'll know kind of what layouts look good um, on a canvas that is essentially just a t-shirt um, but if you want to get in the habit of mo of designing them right on a t-shirt that's something that I definitely recommend because it'll give you a sense of how you know how it's gonna look when it's printed and it'll give you a better idea of like how to space things out and how to adjust um, you know text and, and everything like that um, so that's how you can kind of avoid you know doing all this work and then when you go to mock it it just looks terrible on a t-shirt so um, what I did in this case let's get out of this for a second so what I did is basically made an image it's going to be a lot bigger than what i normally recommend which is 15 inches by 25 this is 30 by 30 and the reason for that is because that will allow the t-shirt itself to be on the canvas but then the design area is still whoops i've got any pixels there change to inches the design area is still you know this is 13 inches wide 
which is plenty. I mean, he actually goes up closer to 14 with his arm here. Um, basically, this will allow you to design in an area that is still screen print friendly, but you'll be able to, um, you know, lay this out in a way that's a lot, a lot, it's just a lot easier to, to understand, you know, sort of what it's gonna look like on a t-shirt um, when you're done with it. So that's something I recommend. It's, it's not something I brought up in previous videos, but after getting some messages on Instagram and kind of seeing that was something you guys might be struggling with, this is a very helpful um, sort of method that will get you guys um, going in the right direction. So that's the first thing. And then the second is just basically the reason why I'm making this video, which is a lot of you guys are, are just using um, standard full color photos or black and white photos from you know, Google or whatever, which is fine. There's plenty of bootleg shirts out there that just use full color photos. But if you're going through the effort of making your text and you know background and colors look authentic, you might as well go the extra mile and apply some effects to the photos themselves as well. So that, that was really um, the main reason why I decided to make this video. So anyways, let's keep moving along. I think we're on number four, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so this was an example I found. It was a Tupac, actually Tupac and Biggie bootleg shirt that had really sort of bright red, a little bit of like yellow effect to it. Um, let's see what this does to the black and white. That's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, so this is definitely meant more for full color photos, but I mean, that for some reason it what turned black and white photos like a kind of green maroon tint, which is interesting for sure. In this case, I would just probably keep it black and white or do what we did earlier and just grab, you know, do a multiply of some other colors or maybe a gradient or something like that. But uh, let's keep moving. And um, yeah, maybe on the next one, I'll show you guys um, another example. Uh, I'll show you this Master P. Um, shirt so you can see that these will work with any color photo. So this one is interest, really interesting to me. So one thing that I noticed is that some bootleg shirts are just like destroyed, right? And this is just, you know, something that comes from wearing the shirt out and wearing the screen print right off the shirt. Um, from you know washing it and, and whatever so I wanted to come up with a method that you know you can get this done through using textures but I wanted to do a method that was that was basically automated so through a series of like um, adjustments to, to select a color I found that you could actually blow out um, or kind of erode um, parts of the image, which, you know, really sort of mimics this style, right? So I found that this could be done through selective color. So that's what I did here. Um, I think again, it works best for full color photos, but let's just see um, what it does. Okay. <laughs> Like I said, it works best with full color photos. Um, you know, if you wanted to get that same effect here, I would use a, a full color photo. But um, yeah, I, I thought it looked super dope. We can try it. Let's just try it with this Master P one. So this is another uh, graphic I put together. They're both full color photos. So I'll show you guys how this applies um, here. So images select the color, it's number five. So it sort of blew, blew out his hand here, blew out the rings, blew out his hand back here. You can see the holes that are sort of created. And then let's see what it does to this background image here. Yeah, so same thing, it sort of blows things out and just sort of mimics, um, you know, a very worn in t-shirt that has these, these eroded holes in it. So that's how that works. Um, 
I'm gonna keep trying to switch between uh, these two images so that um, you guys can see how they how this process applies to um, basically any full color photo. So we're not just sticking on this one example. So let's keep moving along here. We're at number six. Oh, I love this one. So yeah, this is like, I actually saw at least two um, examples of bootleg Tupac shirts that had this sort of style, which is like a really like kind of sickly looking green, um, you know, like kind of turns like the, the dark areas to sort of like this weird maroon brown color. I don't know, I thought it was super dope. So I, I tried really hard to make sure I could get that effect as close as possible and I think I got pretty damn close. So it doesn't really do much to black and white photos other than kind of make it, um, make the contrast a little bit higher. Um, so this is definitely something that's been more for full color photos. Let's take a look at how this looks on the Master P example. It just changes it so much, man. Yeah, like, like, <laughs> it just looks so much better. Like, I don't know, to me at least, like this looks way more authentic than this for sure. So yeah, that's uh, bootleg selective color number six. Let's move on to number seven. Yeah, so this one is basically, um, I think it's similar to, I believe it was number two, where it maintains a lot of the same colors that are in your full color photo, but it basically, yeah, blows out the white a little bit more. It, it makes it kind of a warm sort of feeling uh, throughout, desaturates it a little bit. Round number seven, right? Yeah. So same thing. Meant more for full color photos. Let's see what it looks like on the Master P example. Just for fun, why not? <clears throat> yeah. Just sort of darkens uh, the image overall and warms the tones, makes it sort of like a caramely, I don't know, sort of feel. Um, again, to me, looks better than just the full color image. Um, in this case, I would maybe brighten up the background a little bit so we can still get some of this background and doesn't sort of disappear entirely. But uh, yeah, let's keep moving here. Number eight. Yeah, so this is the only um, preset I created that makes the blacks sort of pop off the design so you can see the outline um, as opposed to the black sort of becoming the t-shirt the itself. Um, I saw tons of examples of bootleg shirts that have basically what happens is it, they're printed with black ink and then over time the t-shirt itself fades but the ink doesn't fade as much. So basically this starts to become gray, this becomes um, you know, it stays darker. So that's why it pops up, pops off the shirt. Um, in this case, I'm using a gray shirt already. So it's lighter, if that makes sense at all. Um, but yeah, if this were a black shirt, you would see this a lot more prominently. So I think I just said that backwards. The, the, <laughs> the, the ink becomes lighter, um, whereas the shirt stays darker. That's what I meant, sorry about that. Um, but yeah. It basically creates sort of like a yellow um, orange tint and then brings out all the black um, off the shirt so let's see what that does to the master P well this one might be tough because it's sort of already doing that now but just for fun let's see what it does so much of this is just about experimenting if 
Um, you know, you guys haven't noticed that by now. Um, yeah, that's definitely a big part of creating these bootleg shirts is just experimenting and seeing what looks best. So yeah, this with this particular um, set of images, it just basically creates sort of a yellow um, tint over everything. And um, yeah, to me, it still looks cohesive. Um, looks more in a bootleg style for sure. So let's move along. We're at number nine here, getting towards the end. Um, yeah, so this one, let's go back to the Tupac example. Oops. I like this one a little bit more just because we have this contrast in images. So we're at number nine. Yeah, I believe this one will basically create a warm, yeah, sort of a warmer uh, red, almost like a sunset, sunset style uh, tint. Let's see what it does to the gray image, black and white image. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so it basically just draws the yellow out and um, creates that tint um, to, to a black and white image. So, you know, just like with any other um, preset in this pack, um, it will mimic some of the, the styles that are in a, that apply just to full color images, but, um, it complements it for sure. So, you know, you could definitely just leave this black and white or do that little yellow tint. I think either way, it's gonna look pretty dope. So let's move on. We're at number 10. Oh yeah. This one is, is definitely different than the others, but a common theme that I was seeing in at least the, the bootleg shirts that I was picking out was um, a lot of times they would do this blue tint over everything. So this works actually really well with black and white images. Yeah, so it, it just basically creates this this um, blue sort of, it's, it's sort of like what you maybe get with an overlay, but um, if you tried to do an overlay on a full color image, you wouldn't get this same effect. So this is pretty cool um, for black and white and full color images. So let's apply it to this one as well. Let's see what this looks like. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I love that. Okay. Yeah, dude. I really love this one. Um, you know, I could have gone through and done, a, you know, a pack that just did tints for every color, but I found that the most common um, color when it comes to like basically um, colorizing a photo with with one blank color was blue. Like I, I found that more than pretty much any, like a second secondary color would have been red, but blue was like the most common that I found. So um, yeah, this is a, uh, hopefully gonna be helpful to you guys. Um, if you wanna, you know, just mess around with selected color yourself, um, it's basically just going through um, all of these uh, different colors and messing with the, the value um, of them, you know, either more or less. So, um, you know, my goal with this was basically to give you guys um, an easy way to apply this effect and sort of get your um, photos to a place where they're where they're more in line with you know the other presets that I that I made for you guys and, and hopefully some of the um, you know text that you guys are creating on your own and and the textures and all that stuff so um, like I said you know you're, you're welcome to just use full color photos, but in my opinion, it's gonna add, I mean, you saw in this video just how much this this really adds to, um, to the t-shirt. Like, just doing that simple 
little tweak completely changes the vibe of this shirt and um, yeah in my opinion just makes it look way more authentic so that's how you use selective color uh, with the pack I put together so if you want to grab it um, I'll have a download link below in the description and yeah it'll basically just send you guys to this downloads page I'm still just doing everything for five bucks like you guys seem to be cool with that. Um, I'm cool with that. Um, but, you know, basically what we're starting to get, you know, with these downloads is just like a library of, of uh, tools that are, are going to help you guys create um, these bootleg style t-shirts. So it's pretty cool to see, you know, all this coming together. Um, a lot of, of you guys have picked up this bootleg Photoshop, Photoshop textiles pack which is similar to this um, you know where you're just clicking around and, and trying out different presets um, that are all you know meant to look like authentic uh, bootleg shirts I haven't talked about this um, mock-up here that I made yet um, I don't know if I'm going to but essentially what this is is just a t-shirt mock-up that um, will uh, allow you guys to throw your design onto it. And um, this particular one has custom bleach patterns on it. So um, it's basically just a series of layers that has different styles of bleach t-shirts. Um, if any of, you, any of you guys are following me on Instagram, I love using bleached um, t-shirts for my mock-ups. Just, I don't know, for whatever reason, to me, it just makes everything look that much more dope. Like I know, you know, the bleached vibe is uh, is going a little bit out uh, in terms of, in terms of trends. But um, to me, just being able to play around with those bleach um, textures and changing colors on them and things like that, just um, I don't know, it just brings another level to to your mockups. So um, yeah, if you want to grab this, it's just as easy as clicking on it, click purchase go through here and fill out all this stuff and you know how it goes. So yeah, then you'll just end up with this zip file. Um, there'll be a link right after you purchase it. You don't have to wait around, you know, hours to get a download link or anything like that. So yeah, I think that's it for today. Um, hopefully this um, selective color pack, <laughs> Jesus, selective color pack will be, it's early guys, sorry about that. It'll be uh, useful to you. Um, like I said, I, I really want you guys to get to a point where you're comfortable messing around with selective color, messing around with text styles, messing around with um, textures, all that stuff. But, you know, a goal of mine is just to get you guys to a place where if you wanna go into Photoshop and mess around and, and try stuff yourself, you can. If you wanna go in and quickly, um, you know get these bootlegs cranked out you can do that as well so um yeah that's it for today thank you guys for being here make sure to you know subscribe hit the bell notification so you'll know when i drop a video um like this video comment um the comments are i say this in every video but they're so important um you guys are letting me know i already have like a back sort of like cue of uh, suggestions from you guys that I'm making videos about actively. So they're, the comments are driving this channel in a, in a huge way. So thank you guys for any comments that you've had. Um, you know, you can always hit me up on Instagram. It's at fuller.mo. Um, keep sending me the bootleg t-shirts that you guys are making. They're super awesome and I'm always down to um, you know, give suggestions or critiques or whatever you guys are looking for. Um, if you just want to show it to me and, um, you know, I'll just give you a thumbs up or whatever, you know, that works too. Um, I have had a couple people um, contact me and ask um, to make bootleg shirts for them, which I'm down for, for sure. I'm open to that conversation. So, you know, whatever you guys want to do, I'm around. So hit me up and uh, yeah, that is it. Thank you for being here.